Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to continue our obelisk model. So we exported our normal AO and uh, curvature map from Mamoset Toolbag. Today, we are going to import all those assets in Substance Painter and start the texturing of our asset. So I'm going to create a new document and uh, you know the resolution and the normal map format as usual in my videos. So I'm just going to import my low poly mesh and uh, just keep the rest of the settings to default. Click OK. And I'm going to go to texture set settings, open this big mesh maps and uh, change the output size. So I'm going to take a 4K for this one and turn off my ID map. We are not going to use that. And uh, you can import your high poly mesh here or you can just use all the texture maps we exported from Marmoset Toolbag. But we're going to take the high poly mesh here and see how it looks when we bake this in Substance Painter. So I'm going to select my high poly mesh, click on this apply diffusion and increase the frontal and rear distance. So I'm going to change it to 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 or something like that. I think this much should be fine. And I'm going to change the anti-aliasing to 2 by 2. Also, let's go to ambient occlusion and increase the secondary rays all the way to 256. And click on this bake selected textures. Since we used 4K output size, it's going to take a while to bake all these maps. So just wait for it to finish. So our maps are done. Let's click OK. And we're going to import all those texture maps we exported from uh, Marmoset. So let's save this file. And uh, open our project. select these three and uh, import them in substance painter so just drag and drop and define them as textures and we're going to replace these maps with these ones so uh, let's select this normal and drop it here do the same with the curvature and uh, AO So now we are done with the baking. So let's start the texturing. Let's go to layers and delete this one. And select one of these concrete material. I'm going to go with this concrete simple and drop it here. Change the projection to tri planner and see how it looks. So it looks good. We can increase the tiling just a little bit. And now we are going to change the color of this material a little bit. Do something like this. And let's select this concrete simple again and drop it here in the layers. And right click, add a black mask and add a generator. In this generator, select this curvature or metal edge wear. Let's try this one. Increase the contrast a little use tri planner and I'm going to increase the wear level and uh, invert this map. something like this let's change the color a little bit let's 
like this and again let's select this concrete dusty drop it here and right click add a black mask add a generator and let's select this curvature decrease the balance something like this and let's change the blending mode of this layer to linear dodge let's go back to this layer and uh, change the luminosity and the saturation so i'm just going to make it a little darker like this and match with this color go back to this curvature you can increase or decrease the balance and contrast so if you want more of this damage you can increase the balance like this but i'm good with the 0.2 like this so if you want to uh, manually paint this area what you need to do is you can add a paint layer over this and change it to linear dodge and just take a brush and paint here like this you don't need to be very precise just add some of this material into these cavities something like this and you can do the same inside this part if you do this with a pen tablet it would be much better but if you don't have one then mouse is just fine you just need to be a little bit more careful So I guess this is fine you can add some of this material here like this and I'm going to decrease the opacity just a little bit like this so this looks old and damaged and I guess this looks fine now we're going to add a moss like texture here so for that I'm going to take this rust so select it and drop it here change it to tri planner and increase the tiling right click here add a black mask and in this black mask let's add a generator and search for this light generator let's change the angle like this and change the glossiness and highlight level
something like this and let's go back to this material and change the color let's take this green color and add a mouse like effect like this and let's create a duplicate of this material and uh, remove the black mask now go to your smart mask and here you'll see this dirt ground select it and drop it here like this go to your mask builder and decrease the level we don't want this grunge over the top here we just want it down here so i'm going to decrease the contrast and uh, level to 0 0.2 and let's go back to this material and change the color make it a little darker something like this go here in the mask builder increase the grunge and turn down the opacity like this also add a paint over this change the blending mode to linear dodge take a brush i'm going to take this dirt brush and just add some of this grunge here manually like this and you can also turn down the opacity for this one as well like this now you can add some scratches and damage over here so let's try that so i'm going to take a new fill layer and uh, turn off the color metal and uh, normal decrease the height and increase the roughness add a black mask and add a fill in this fill i'm going to search for the scratches and select this now we have some scratches over here change the projection to tri planner and uh, let's try to change some of these parameters so i'm going to decrease the balance we don't need that much scratches in our texture increase the contrast and uh, quantity also let's try to turn it down like this let's add some blur so that they don't look sharp so let's add 0 0.1 i think this looks better so i guess this looks fine so this is the final output of our obelisk model so our texturing is done and now we are going to export all these textures from Substance Painter and in the next video we are going to set up this scene in Maya and render this object with Arnold. So let's export the textures. So let's go to File, Export Textures and let's go over the settings one more time. So here we need to change the folder where we want to export our textures. So I'm going to go to my project and uh, in the those images i'm going to export all these maps and in the output template we can use this document channel plus normal plus ao with alpha and uh, file type i'm going to take uh, targa or you can choose png or tiff or anything you'd like and uh, for the size i'm going to take it 4k 
and with the padding i'm going to change it to dilation plus transparent and that's it and click export it's going to export all these textures that you can use with arnold in maya so our maps are exported and i'm going to finish this video here so i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next part of this tutorial which will be posted tomorrow and for more information and queries you can join my discord server and follow me on the instagram all the links are in the description Thank you.